Felicidades, fine friends and foodies. How's that for an alliteration? It's time for another episode of Trippy Food, and today we are doing another coronavirus special, I suppose, because we are sequestered in our house, and we were able to get out and do a shopping run at our local Asian grocery, which in this case was Hawaii Supermarket in San Gabriel, California. And uh, we found a couple of things that, you know, we should just make a nice lunch just uh, together the way they are. So uh, one is flour brand seasoned cuttlefish with soybean sauce. I, I don't know if you're supposed to heat this up. I'm not going to. I'm, I'm assuming it's already cooked and ready to eat. So yeah, I'm not gonna try to mess it up and everything by cooking, unless it comes out as this gelatinous mess and then in that case I'll heat it up. But um, if you look at the ingredients, the ingredients are cuttlefish, soy sauce, sugar, water, salt, citric acid, you know, like le lemon juice. Uh, sodium metabisulfite, uh, which is a preservative. I don't think it's going to kill me. Uh, artificial flavor and artificial color. I don't know. Maybe the, maybe this is going to be bright red or bright green or something like that. Uh, there is a message down at the bottom that says, warning, it exposes me to cadmium. So I don't know if that's in the paint on the outside or the, you know, because it's not a paper label. So maybe in the paint on the outside. I Hopefully it's not something that's inside, but um, and hopefully it won't kill me. So it is distributed by Sun Hing Foods, but it is flower brand, and it, it is a product of Malaysia. And it does say that it's also uh, wild caught. Now we also found this, which is, I'm not gonna pronounce this right, um, Kai Chua, Kai Chua, which is a, um, and I can't see what the brand is, it's a little picture of an elephant. I'm not sure where it's from, but this is pickled soured mustard. And it's probably a little bit uh, maybe misleading as to what it is. It is a basically pickled mustard greens. Uh, and uh, there's ingredients on there, but the ingredients are in, in coloring that is almost impossible to read because it's black on, uh, on a dark color. So I can't tell. I'll be able to tell once I open this up. So yeah, uh, we, have a, we have kind of a basic uh, quick lunch here. Um, the thing I, I always can't understand about a lot of these canned Asian products is that that you seem to have to open them from the bottom, so it's just kind of weird. Uh, maybe it goes along the lines of my whole potato chip theory, which is basically if you open the bag from the bottom, you get all the flavor, and maybe they're doing the same thing. So I don't know. So let's go ahead and open this up. And you might laugh at me using this uh, manual can opener, but you know, when all the power goes out, I'm gonna be eating cow. Ooh, that's weird. I'm not sure what's going on here. That's kind of strange looking. Look at that. That's weird. For something with art. Oh, there's the tentacles right there. That's cool. It smells a little fishy, but not no, not terrible. And we have that that brown murky soy juice. Okay, now let's open our pickled soured mustard. I was thinking maybe I should have had something like a knife or something to cut this, but you know, worst case, I'll use these. Yeah, that's kind of a sweet smell. I wonder if they add sugar to it. I guess that's gonna be like pickle juice there. Looks a little yearny. That's, well, that's pretty big. That's actually pretty big. And I might actually use this to cut this. It's like, you know, this clown car, right? You just open that thing up and it. Well, let's see if we can read the ingredients now. Uh, mustard, salt, vinegar, water, sodium metabisulfite. Apparently that's a pretty popular thing. Uh, sodium benzoate as preservative, uh, FD&C yellow number five, so artificial color. 
Um, it is manufactured for and distributed by Wallong Manufacturing in Buena Park, California, and it is a product of Thailand. All right. We're good. All right. So um, what do you think I should try first? The cuttlefish? I agree. Let's go ahead and give this a shot. I'm going to have to cut that up, too. Yeah, let's cut that up. Cut the tentacles off. Try those first. There we go. Cheers. The texture is not bad for some cephalopods, which is Greek for head foot, but it's a type of mollusk that, like a squid, octopus, cuttlefish. If you cook them the wrong way, then they're really chewy. And there's some chewiness to it, too. Don't get me wrong. But not too bad. Most of the, there's a little bit of flavor there. Most of the flavor, I think, is soy sauce. Not a bad snack, though. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Now let's try the mustard beans. And, you know, this shouldn't be any big surprise. It does smell, you know, smells like pickles, like uh, like plastic pickles, the pickles you would buy in a jar. It does have that smell. I'm assuming it has that taste, but we'll see. And let's see how sour this actually is. I mean, mustard greens are a little bit, you know, bitter anyways, and maybe they're just accentuating that name, but maybe it's not that bad. Mmm. Well, it definitely tastes pickled. Lots of vinegar. Yeah, it tastes, but it tastes more like pickles. Like you almost lose the flavor of the uh, of the mustard greens. Just cut a little bit of that off. We can eat it better. Hmm. Nice crunch to it. It's not overcooked. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of give this one a thumbs in the middle, and I want to give it a bigger thumbs up. Except you totally lose the taste of mustard greens because they really taste like pickles. But, um, but it's not overcooked. It's not mushy. Uh, nice texture to it. Nice bite to it. Everything. So yeah, it's in the middle uh, going up uh, for the cuttlefish. I'm gonna say a thumbs up. Um, I don't know that I would uh, heat this up. Uh, it's kind of okay the way it is. Maybe not something that uh, I would eat all the time, but uh, but pretty good. So, um, if you only have a chance to get out every once in a while and do your grocery shopping, you hit the Asian market. I would I would recommend get yourself a can of the uh, cuttlefish in soy uh, and the pickled sour mustard. Both uh, uh, really. Uh, by the way, uh, I, I don't know if I gave it a thumbs up or not, but I'm going to. Um, so. Uh, yeah, uh, you might want to heat it up just for fun and everything, but it's fine just the way it is. But um, yeah, it makes a, a quick, easy to get to, fast uh, lunch, and it's pretty decent. So give it a try. Let us know what you think if you give it a try. Take care of yourself. Take care of others. Be careful, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.